<laughs> uh, finally, Corn Man, Sheep Street Corner Low Life Corn Hatties, and I'm the canon. You publish a list of some people you conned. Who knew when the money was collected? Who was the external ed, uh, auditor? Or the external auditing firm who aud audited the money received and the people who paid? Thief. Now, you claimed falsely that you gave me 20 million naira. Simple mathematics. 20 million naira, according to the publication of your IPOB e rats, 200 of your men were sent for joint training. Let us assume that they stayed two months or maybe one month with me and they are fed with 1,000 a day. Just 1,000 a day. How much would that be? For 30 days. That will translate to 6 million naira. What of their accommodation? Their transportation? Their medicals? And other exigencies? Your men brought pictures, which is true that a joint meeting was held at my mansion in Kotonu and IPOB members came from all over the world to attend that meeting so what of the logistics of that meeting the entertainment the security put in place to secure them when most of them were, 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 were panicking like lily liver fellows that they are. The question we ask. Feeding, if your men stayed two months, 12 million naira had gone for feeding. So what is 20 million naira compared to from your own testimony? We are not talking. You can come and abuse people from your own testimony. But I have paid more for treatment in the hospital, for rescuing IPOB members. They are available. They are afraid to talk, but one day they will talk. For medical bills, for rescuing IPOB members, for keeping them safe until they recuperate. I have done that for IPOB members and most of these people are grateful and they call me. And most of them are ashamed that this sort of thing is happening because of an idiot. They made the mistake of putting in leadership position. An idiot, an insane idiot they put in leadership position. Where did our fight start? We were whispering in the house. I said it was not in the interest of the Igbos to boycott election. From the election in Anambra State, I started. I said, look, pick one candidate, support that candidate. Let us defeat our enemies. They said, no. You said election should not be boycott. I met with your younger brother. I spoke with you on the phone. I did everything to convince you that it was not in the best interest of the Biafran struggle for us to leave power in the hands of internal enemies because they will be working for the external enemies. That was where I went wrong. That was where to you I became a sabo. I'm not an Anambra man. <laughs> whether anybody become a governor in Anambra state. Oh, on that day you say you are going to eat uh, over, uh, over what, 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 what day. And all of you are fooling yourself all over the world. 
All of you are just sooling yourself all over the world. Look. From your own calculation, 20 million or only feeding has taken 12, 12 million in two months. As I'm talking to you today, part of those IPOB people are still living with me. From that time to today, they are still living with me. I have become like a father to them. The people who do my generator, who service my car, who are IPOB members, they go and they come. Very nice guy, Igbo, boy, Igbo guys, from all over the place that he sent to me. They've now become part and parcel of my life, part and parcel of my family. They go to meet my family members, in Kotonu, they are in my village. Everywhere I go to, they follow me because of the love and the trust they have for me. They know they are still like people. Uh, uh, Daddy, we can know. I say, your people sent you here. I don't want to take you from your people. They are still with me till today. Till this very moment. So for me, I look at our struggle and the harm you are doing to our struggle. As going, we want to be the only one, only voice, only this. Nobody is bothering you. If you have kept to your own struggle and allow others, allow our Zuka others to hold their struggle, if at the end of the day we arrive at the same destination, all of us will sit down on a round table. But no, you will abuse, you send your people to abuse, you send when you are the cone man. Now, 20 million in two months from that time to today, some of them are still with me. The people who said they are with me, I don't want to expose them, I don't want to endanger their life. But I know, and people know, very top IPOB members know that these people are with me. And each time they want to do something very important, they call them to come. In Amdi Kanu. Your 419 has caught up with you. We have forced you for the first time to publish a nonsense account. Who was there? Bring a bring the account out. Let everybody that know. Iruaya or me, me, all the people you are calling, let them tell us the story of how the money collected and how you expended the money. In Amdi Kanu, you are just a shameless, ordinary thief, the worst among all thieves of all time. 